Okay, so for drawing these Bohr models, let me zoom out here for you. You can take a look at this example right there. We're gonna, in the nucleus, we're gonna draw, write out how many protons and neutrons they have. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna draw out the shells that they have. And we're gonna put how many electrons they have in their outer shells. So let's come on over here. First off to do this, let's label this period one. Zoom in here a little bit for you. And period one means you're going to have, one, oh, actually, let me, okay, you don't have to do this. I'm going to use a penny here. Okay, there's the nucleus. And then I'm going to draw a dotted line to represent that first shell. If, when you get working on this, you can use color pencils or whatever. And let's see, let's label period two down here, which means you have two shells. So I'm going to get this kind of preset up here. First shell and second shell. And then this is period three. <coughs> and we've got three shells to fill in here. So the first thing we want to do is to look on a, a periodic table. We want to do the protons and neutrons. So for hydrogen, how many protons does it have? has one, so P equals one. I'm gonna put P plus. And then how many neutrons does it have? Zero. One minus one is gonna be zero, at least the most common isotope. And how many electrons does it have? It has just one, we'll just put a dot there. Or if you like, you can even just put one electron if you don't wanna do that. Let's label this group one. So what you're going to find out is all of these, in fact, I'm just going to put one electron right there because it's in group one. Automatically, we know its outer shell is going to have one electron in it. Then you can go through and fill in the rest, uh, two in there. This is group two. And I'm going to tell you right here, let's see, I'm going to put that one in right there. It's in period two, so I know it has two shells. And what you need to go, okay, it's in group two right away. I know it's automatically gonna have two electrons out there. So you're gonna work through that and get this chart filled in. So I'll give you a few minutes to work on that. And let's finish labeling these. Now we're jumping across the transition metals there. So now we're over here at group 13. I'm exaggerating the size of the second number because on each of these, I want to exaggerate that that's how many valence electrons they have. That means the number of electrons in their outer shell. So let me stop this recording now. Yeah.